uh, my name is James Lau. Uh, it's exciting to be in the networking field day 27. And we're gonna see a little bit demo on uh, in this session. Um, first of all, from MCON's point, what does the MCON automate? It basically is a controller, a management center for our customers, the whole life cycle of their network. So we classify into day zero, day one, day two operation. And this is pretty uh, easy to understand. Uh, day zero is basically you receive a, a hardware, you have to do zero touch provisioning, enable the, the boxes with the right image and the right, uh, right license. And then from there, you go into the day one operation that you create the configuration uh, and deploy the policy into the switch. Then day two, you get into the real operation, you bring up the data flow and the, the networking data start to go around. And then you go from there, collecting the data, make sure it continue to up the, optimize the, the network and deploy the devices into the network. Until someday you say, I need to upgrade the, the switch again. I'm going to replace it with better, faster, and more secure network uh, gears. So I replace this one, uh, the, the old network gears with the new one. So this is the life cycle of the, the management. What is so special about MCOM? You can do all these things manually and advance the network operator will try to do this one, these with script. And even more people will say, okay, I'm going to use, uh, use uh, a third party tools to try to interoperate with the, all, the, all the gears. In our view, everything should be push button. If you really want to go into the, the, the manual operation, you have the option to do that. But creating a configuration, for example, it should not be as, uh, as complicated as uh, you write the configuration line by line or copy it from somebody and then put it into the switch and try to change it. We create a modern software architecture that we help people to start with a template. And then you pick the templates you want, aggregate them together, and then create, generate, feed in the data, generate the real configuration. And then we have an MCON to do the configuration check, make sure it's correct before we deploy into the switch. So in uh, looking at this automation and thinking about uh, how you described how PK8 is, is positioned in you know, coming into this multi-vendor space, what does the automation look like for multi-vendor? Obviously, you know, you'll know you have some greenfield deployments where PK8 is the only vendor in there. Mm -hmm. And some of the other environments you mentioned where you may have other vendors, you know, like Cisco or Aruba, is there any option to integrate the automation of, of all of those you know, under, under this solution or is this just for PK8? So when we say multi-vendor solution, we don't mean multi-networking vendor solution. We basically, multi-vendor solution in our definition is that we work with all the software vendors. All the software should work together. It's not that our software is trying to deal with the, each hardware. We don't deal with hardware, we deal with software. So for example, the, the white box hardware for us is just a white box. We don't deal with the, the integration with the, the white box. It's an OS level to integrate with the, uh, with the white box. In our view, multi-vendor means that you have to, all the APIs, you can work with all the management software, you can work with all the, the software that require data from the network or using the feedback system to manage the network in a way. So when we say multi-vendor, we don't mean go into the network management uh, software route that try to manage a lot of different hardware through their API. We don't do that. So from here, um, what do we do with the, the automation? What is the push bottom? that we have automated. We have automated the deployment, we have de automated the schedule backup, we have automated the, with the security and network compliance, and we help customers to customize their own Ansible playbook as well. One thing I really wanted to make sure we understand is that MCON's role is a push button operation for the majority <coughs> operation. It's not for the most critical operation. Sometimes people, get confused that, hey, I want to create a VLAN from A to B and you figure out how to do this one. And I, I think we, we all know that a lot of people are putting time to create that kind of infrastructure. But for us, automation, the most useful way for automation is something that you do every day. Maybe it's not creating a lot of value, but it's, it's critical operation. So let me give you an example. We're gonna see the demo later on. 
for example, you have a network running already, and this is uh, something we did with our customer who has deployed the, the 100 switches into their building. Their building is completely secured, and every single port is turned on NEC uh, operation, the network access control operation. But from time, time to time, they find this interesting thing that the network operator, when they try to plug in, so for example, a new printer into the, the wall, they plug in the new, new printer, it's not connecting to the network. Guess what they do? They go into the network, manually turn off the, the neck controller, and then see if that's the problem. They do a lot of troubleshooting, and after all, they forgot to turn, turn it back on. They see it all the time. So they have this uh, engineer assigned to the test that every day you come in, please check all the ports or you write a script to see if you can scan all the ports and make sure all the neck is turned on. You do it a couple of days, two months later, all the ports are, are turned <laughs> turn off. None of the port is running neck. So they have this script that we work with them and I'm gonna show it as, a, as an example later on. It's a very simple, only about 20, 30 lines of script that every day they go into the network to scan all the ports and all the switches, make sure the neck is turned on. If it's not turned on, they generate the report that they fix the problem and then send the report to the operator. As simple as that. This is like a, like a toothbrush that you have to do it every day until something happens. So if you don't do it, someday somebody figure out one of the ports is not turned on with NAC, they plug in their own, their own notebook and they start going around the, the network, download 10 gigabyte of data. What do you do? You can't. So, so these are the things that we help our customers to do. Deployment is a, is a complicated process, but they have to do it uh, every day. So we developed all the push button for them. But from there, a lot of things that you do every day will help you to easily get started. And we're gonna go into the, the, the demo a little to show you why this is interesting. Because if you look at the provisioning that today, uh, just take an example, our customers who has 2,300, uh, uh, 4,300 stores worldwide, uh, they have to do the deployment to, the, to, the, to their stores all the time. If a switch is broken, they are running with a single switch, the store is still open, but you have to replace that broken switch all, uh, right away. So what do you do in the past? You take a switch from the inventory, carry it onto the plane, fly to the, to the store. You go into the store and then you plug in the switch and then you start doing the configuration, download the, the configuration. If you can, if nobody knows what's the configuration, you're doomed. <laughs> you have to figure out what to configure. So what we help our customers is that every switch has an identity. As soon as you configure the switch, we will help you to go through the zero touch provisioning, identify who is the switch, where it is plugged in, identify what is the right configuration, push to the switch, bring up the switch, get it running. Even more importantly, the switch software will start verifying whether my configuration is correct. Can I really connect to the network? Do I really have the visibility into the right servers? Once I configure everything correctly, I will start running. Otherwise, I will keep trying. So for example, if somebody configured the wrong ports, connect to the wrong ports, then the switch will never come up. And then until it's fixed. So how do you fix the problem? Very easy. You go into the switch and, and it will try to connect to the network. If it fails, you generate the, the link and tell you the upper link is wrong. The VLAN cannot connect. So you right away, you know, you call the, the people in the store and say, can you move the cable? That's the, how you do the, the automation. And not only that, this is uh, just one switch. Imagine that you have to deploy thousands of switches every year. So a lot of people underestimate how difficult it is to, to do this kind of deployment. Let's say if you have 43,000 stores and, and uh, 4,200 stores, and there are thousands, tens of thousands of switches running in, this, in those stores. Let's say the lifetime of the hardware is seven years. How many switches do you have to replace? 1,000 switches every year. They are all distributed. How many people do you need to deploy those switches? Those are big job. If you don't automate it, you're gonna have a big problem. So even if you have a small group of people continue to carry the switches flying around and try to deploy the switches, 
you don't have enough time to do this because every day you only have eight hours. But if you have a way that you can hook up the switches and then the controller at the back end can continue to help you to provision the switch, to test the switch, then your speed is faster, your operation cost is much lower, and you've got much more stable network because nobody can hack the network uh, configuration. So that's a one example. And uh, another example is, uh, is uh, configuration. So we're gonna go into the demo a little bit to give you a sense of uh, what MCON looks like and how people are using MCON. This is the, the interface of uh, MCON. And in the interface, you can see that when you get into the dashboard, the first thing you are gonna see is that how many switches do you have? What kind of uh, models are the hardware switches? What kind of image are running on the switch? What is the state of the, the switches? Are they deployed or are they ready to be deployed? How many licenses do you have in your license pool? Again, coming back to the simple license, we don't care what kind of speed you are running on your switch. We just uh, help you to provision the switch and make sure that your switches are, you can focus on the switch. And if you look at the, the left side on the menu, you, you're gonna see that we help our customer to create a configuration through definition of template. These are the new ways of really generating the configuration because if you don't have template to generate it, you have to create the, the configuration line by line, repeating the same, the same work every day. And many people have cheat sheet, many people have a script to help you to do that. Guess what? When this guy leaves the company, then everything has to reset because nobody knows what's the, what's the script. It's very difficult to understand. So with the push button, we help our customers to put these programs into the operation without, uh, without those, uh, uh, those surprises, right? So you can see that uh, by operating on the, uh, by operating on the uh, MCONS dashboard, you can see the, the hardware model, and then you can see the state of the switches. You can move on to, to check the, the license number, how many licenses you have, and how many licenses you, you have used. Click into the list of the switches. You can check the switch status by clicking on the serial number. It will tell you the state of the switches. You will immediately get the real-time information of uh, how many ports are linked up, how many ports are linked down, even down there, you can see the immediately the real-time statistics of each port, who do they connect to, and how do they operate. And you click on one button, it gets you into the console. And this is really interesting because for a lot of people that operate the switches, the, you always have a small booklet by you and say, for this switch, this is the IP address, this is the password, this is the username I have to use, use in order to log into the switch because everything is in the database. So once you get to MCON, you want to drop to, into the console, you really are, need certain data from the console while you are doing all the GUI operation, you can drop it into the, the console right away without having to look up your booklet. Because we know the IP address, we know the username, we know the password will help you to get into the, the system. Now, somebody is going to ask me that, what about security? If you can lock into any switch and make any changes, then what about security? Everything we do through Ansible, we have the backend generic Ansible with a security module. Every command you give to the, the, to the switch, it has to be qualified by TACAS AAA. So you won't have somebody lock into the network and say, okay, I, I now can go into the network and I now can change the network configuration all the time because you need to be authorized, you need to be authenticated before you can do the operation. Okay, and get continue the, the demo. You're gonna see that uh, this is the configuration backup that people do every day, right? Supposedly, if you're running a, a, a network shop, you have to back up your configuration every day. And if I take a quote of all the audience, how many people have done the, the configuration backup? I bet you, most of them I say, yeah, we should, but uh, I haven't been able to do it lately. Or, hey, nobody's changing the configuration, so my last configuration is still good. Guess what? It's changed all the time because they need to hook up a new device. They need to hook up a new printer. So it's there all the time. So configuration change all the time. So we help our customers to come up with the, 
the automatically backup. You can automatically backup every day, or you can set the time, or you can immediately say, I want to backup now. And then you pick the switch, you back up now, you go into the image, it will show you all the snapshot of the configuration that what time you have already done, you can roll back to that. And this is the backup, uh, this is the upgrade uh, process. The upgrade process will help our customers to identify which group of customer, uh, switches you want to upgrade. And then you can define the time to start the upgrade. You don't have to be manually doing that for, uh, on your own. So this is a very quick uh, demo of the overall. I want to take the, this one a little bit further to show you another demo because uh, that one is uh, interesting as well. So if you uh, look into the automation that we have done, we show you how to do the configuration upgrade, the backup, uh, compliance management, the schedule software. But even if you can do all these in the past, with your network management system, most of the people are telling us that, yeah, this is very useful, but 20% of the change that I have to do something, these guys just cannot help. So I might as well just learn how to do it manually. And what we figure out is that, yes, a lot of people want to have a customized workflow. So we help our customer by int integrating the whole Ansible, uh, Ansible infrastructure into our uh, MCON controller. This is a very simple Ansible, uh, Ansible playbook. And I think that uh, most of our technical users probably can read this one right away. Even if you cannot write it, you can read it right away. So this is the beauty of the MCON, uh, MCON operation. If you need some script and you don't know where to start, you go into MCON uh, GitHub. We have uh, tons of uh, uh, scripts, playbooks that you can reference. You download the script. For example, this one is to check all the next uh, next setting, uh, setting of all the uh, all the ports. But you might not want to check the next setting. You probably want to check other settings like MTU, like other things, right? But you don't know where to start. You download the script over here. You look into the script. You immediately identify what is the keyword. You replace the keyword. You can start doing uh, what you want to do. You can customize it. We make it really, really simple. So if you look into this script as an example, this script has, a, has a, a six procedures. If you look into the script, it has a six procedures. It basically start by reading the ports the status and then identify the, the, uh, the keyword, uh, identify dot, dot one X, is it turn on, is it turn off? If it's a turn off, we turn it on. So you do this, once you download this one, this is the procedure. You, you just have to do this. So first of all, you download the, the script or the playbook and the playbook will immediately show you the, the, uh, the, the, show you the script and then uh, you check the status. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the time is up, so I have to speed up. But basically we make it really, really simple for people to run the script and be able to uh, automate the process. And if you want to change the script, you can change it all the uh, change it at your will. You don't have to start from the scratch. And that's the whole point of MCON helping our customers to automate their process. <laughs>